Hello, everyone, and welcome back to round two back nine action here on moving day here in Houston, Texas for the 2024 Texas State Disc Golf Championships presented by Lone Star Disc. I'm Jeremy Colling, joined by Paul Euliberry, Big Barry commentary bringing you the action where we saw Anthony Burrell just shred festival the front nine eight under very unassuming. He did all kinds of Ooh, awesome things. Calm. Um, really, I, I think this is the point where we say if you're not you're watching this obviously but if you ever get a chance watch him live because this yeah. does not do it justice well, the amazing shots that he throws totally how far these guys are throwing it makes the course design look inept but it's yes. it's not but that it's not it's yeah, not it's that tough. it's i mean you're seeing a lot of green here these are the best players on yeah. you know on tour in the tournament in the world right now but yeah it, it it's a great course we love brock park it's been a fantastic uh course to play yeah but yeah, Anthony right now on a good one right now. And the back nine, as we mentioned in round one, very scorable. Yes. And I think he birdied like the last five or six holes. He gets things going here. Like we could be seeing something really special sure. if he can continue that momentum. One of the things I liked about his demeanor in the front nine is how calm he was. I mean, yep. it just seemed like he, yeah, just another 30 footer, another yep. 25 footer. Business as usual. Business as usual. Well, we get things started here on hole 10. Low ceiling, par four, 720 feet. Just got to keep it in the middle. There is OB on the left and right side. Yeah, last year I was on the couch watching this. And so coming into this tournament, I can tell you it was it was a lot different than I was expecting. It was longer. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Well, Come hell, on. Still tough. No run up. Yeah, but that thing was moving almost, Paul almost dead though if he gets stuck behind there yes as far as like yeah. not having much. oh that was a good last little neural as uh Philo likes to call him Ooh. oh oh what okay uh, <laughs> that, I don't know that was if you've ever played ping pong that's just like the ball hitting the edge of the table and then hitting your friend in the kneecap like it's weird not things playing. <laughs> yeah yeah just watching in the sideline oh Calvin with the early release. He's been doing that a little bit. Look at these are funny reactions. Yeah. But they're they're okay. They're all okay. A spinning circular object moving in towards objects is gonna create interesting yes. results. But one of the one of the things um why I brought that up is is watching hole eighteen. Like yesterday, Beautiful. watching how great shot for soft game. Anthony throws the spike hyzer into the green on 18 mm. from the camera mm -hmm. coming here and then playing oh, it. Then it's playing just it. like, yeah, yeah. wait, he just did that 2%. I could get a full power shot there. That is not the case. Plays deep. Oh, that's okay though. Par, yeah. par on this course on, on a hole like this is just fine. There's a lot of these sprinkled on the course where it's yep. just two shots that require really two great shots. And a good putt like here. Oh, yeah, yeah it's just not that. gonna have to be that great of a putt. Nope. That was a good second shot. Anthony up next. He's gonna have to go stand still forehand. Flip up. This is his flippy oh, but undertaker. Why the wide left is the biggest gap? Ooh, it's high, Paul. Gets through the branches. Wow. Oh, okay. okay, but he's gonna be C two. Gets away with it with the rollout. Gets away with it through the tree. Yeah. But now he's going to have to earn it with a good putt. Sure. This would be a fighting man's birdie if he is able to make that putt. Look how close Gannon is off the tee. Just such a simple backhand approach. Made that look too easy. Is this early? Nope. Yeah. Good ground play. A little kiss on Calvin's disc there. Move it back. You know he ain't going to move it back. How comfortable does he feel? Mm. Uh, that I didn't change. If there's any nerves at all from the front nine, you can't see it on his face. You can't see it in the way that he's releasing the disc. A little low. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting real weird, then yeah, I guess yeah, it was a tiny bit low. It's our job. But it wasn't like nervous low, though. You know, there's like nervous low where your body kind of tweaks out a little bit as yeah. you release it. That wasn't a nervous low. That was just the disc was a little bit low. Yeah, 
and Mason will have this short putt for par, but birdies for Calvin and Gannon and AB. Continuing trend that we saw in the front nine, a lot of birdies. Ooh, we got a little Alden siding. He's out there putting together a really nice round. And here is 18 you're just alluding to a moment ago. Full flight for Alden Harris. Keeps him at the bottom of the hill. I like 18 because it never wavers. It's always a pretty good headwind. Yeah, for sure. Even on a calm day. Oh, Alden right side chains and it's in. Great birdie to finish with. I think that's a 10 under round for Alden. I mean, it's it feels so calm over here. Yeah, come on. Oh, little yeah. does jump off and out sometimes. He, sure. Yeah. He's nine under through ten. Yeah. Matty O is nine under through more holes than ten, yeah. but he's also putting together a very solid round. Well, this is one that can jump up and bite you. Absolutely. Hole eleven, par four, eight thirty-four. A little longer in the distance, and a dog leg to the right, out of bounds right and left and then wraps around all the way to this pond on the right around the basket and pretty tight on the left hand side you have that mandatory that you need to miss you're going to see roller turnover some sidearm sometimes and then just backhand straight as you can make it go it's the fourth most bogeyed hole on the course 26 percent of the field a b going air shot just driving it past the mandatory. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to have to work hard, though, from the second shot because that's it's not huge distance. It's just adequate. Yeah. See, this is what I like about his game right now. He can totally decide, oh, man, this is good. Drive. This is bombing distance. Yeah. He could totally decide to go roller and try to get, like, a jump putt in. You yeah. know what I mean? Right, and that's right. something that we would see him do in the past. Roller around the corner. Look what I can do. And then it's either easy birdie or... Or a par. You know what I mean? And, and now we're just seeing himself. Get oh, Gannon. Good Does kick. that hit the inside of the mandatory and then kick OB? Is he? He's no. Safe. No way that there's yeah. no penalty for that release for Gannon. That's an <laughs> incredible break. But he's just giving himself more opportunities. Yeah. Well, I mean, on most par fours, all you really have to do is throw one good shot. I mean, if as long as one of the shots isn't terrible, all you need is one incredible one. And... Um, this one you have to, th I feel like, throw two really great shots. I said most. This one you do have yes. to come up with two really great throws, yes. Because, I mean, this is a great throw, but this is yeah, back. Mid, mid, mid to back circle, too. Yep. I cannot believe there was no penalty for Cannon at all. And now he's left with a relatively routine shot for him. Oh, it's kind of getting to that right side. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the penalty comes in on the green. Hopefully he's able to retrieve that disc because it's kind of nasty in there. Does he go wide here or inside of that tree? I feel like that tree is a good yeah. line. I, yeah, I think he's trying to figure it out himself. Well inside the tree. Yeah, it just kind of goes for the straightest possible line towards it. And what a shot it was. Wow, it. Okay, yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> so good. I mean, that is getting it done. Ooh, a little grin. Mason said a funny to him. Get up. Yeah, this is Yeah, good. I think he's going to like it. Oh, well, yeah. 24 feet, 3 inches. All right, Mason's been making a lot of long putts this season. Let's see him get another one. Ugh. Gannon to save par. Oh, that was so close. And Calvin continuing his perfection inside wow. C1, going all the way back to round one at chess.com. Yes, he did not play Waco, but that's still two rounds at chess. And three rounds at Austin. And now a round and a half here. It's a lot of holes. It's a lot of holes to not miss a putt inside the circle. And, you know, we 
We really highlighted that a lot last season. Yeah. AB's just rolling. Another birdie. He is now 10 under through 11 holes. Do you think Gannon got his disc back from in there? It's dark. It, yeah, I, I thought I threw one there in practice, and I looked in, and I said, you know what? If it's in there, it's just gone. So I hope he did, but I don't know. Ooh, I, I saw this one while I was on the course. Watch, okay. Watch this. Boing. Give me that. Oh, oh, so close. It was, it, it, so I was directly pin high. Okay. It was a foot in front of it. Oh, something. my goodness. It was, it, I was like, wow, I think I just saw an ace. Matteo getting things done. Ezra. On the technical short hole 13, forcing that Anheuser. Oh, Come God. on. Oh, my gosh. What a kick. That's a Zone OS. He's just mm -hmm. trying to rip a roller with. Mm -hmm. What a crazy line. It's a good putt there from Calvin. So flat. Yeah. I, I mean, he's doing great. He's 11 under. I mean, he's, I'm sorry. He's six under through 11 holes. It's fantastic. And he's lost four hey. shots to our leader. Yeah. This is, it's crazy. It's turning into uh what could possibly happen special scenario. yeah hole 12 par 3 460 out of bounds on the right hand side heiser out around you just got to beat this guy right here yeah you whether you're flipping one. up or you try to get yeah. a wide skip it's mm -hmm. one of the two for the guys who can get there what do you prefer i don't i can't control my disc at that distance i'm trying to get anywhere around that yeah. tree that's about where i'm trying to land and then hopefully skip in front or behind Trying to stay away from this out of bounds line on the right. I think AB's got the power. To, yeah, he's going to go intentionally inside and just flip it up the whole way. And I like that for him because it's going to come and he can control the ground play. And look at this guy. That's so soft. This guy is on another level at this moment. 460 on the dime. I mean, that's to get 11 through 12. Wow. The hot round so far in the tournament, 10. Yeah, him yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> through 18 holes i mean goodness calvin gets to mid circle yep. two with a dead center tree hit yep or limb hit I, I should say mason also going for the straightest possible route it's gonna take on that tree e oh maybe poofed maybe poofed by the danny lines maybe a <laughs> poofy danny line there that's what i'm thinking <laughs> Inside should skip to circles edge. Yeah, you like that. Good shot. Anytime they're that high coming in right there, it's tough to get yourself in the circle. That was almost our commentary name, the poofy dandy lines, but we ended up going with Big Barry instead. Mm -hmm. At this point, later on in my career, I could be, we could be the poofy berry, the big poofy berries. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm poofy and you're berry? No, I'm poofy. I have too. to change my name to, from big to poofy? No, we're just. You're I mean, big, you're not you're wrong. Still big, and we're both poofy. Oh, wow. let's go, Calvin. Getting it done on the putting green. Nothing poofy about this. This is tight. That's Love a it. Great putt. He's on a streak there. Yeah, yeah, he's doing well. Again, we'll be up next from just outside the circle's edge. Perfect. Oh boy. Yikes. Yeah, that's going to turn into a nomads real quick. That just didn't, that took zero seconds for it to say, we don't want that. That's unfortunate. It's Great putt. It's too hard. Yeah, I mean, when you putt with that much steam, you're going to hit yeah. the pole and yeah. come back out sometimes. on the stripe 11 through 12 holes with a miss putt in the circle calm down young fella i'm just i'm just like thinking like are we looking at like a a james conrad at jonesboro last year type of situation we are, we are right now he's not yeah he's not missing but we do have very technical holes coming in which it's really easy to be off by a little bit mm -hmm. hit some limbs oh this next one is a very technical hole
Hole 13, par three, 282 foot low ceiling with the mandatory on the left side. It's gonna be a putter turnover for all four of these guys again. I don't see anyone doing a different shot, but it's a little bit tricky on that right side if you overturn it. That stuff is pretty thick and will grab your disc. Could go Ezra super overstable ripper. Yeah, Zone OS. I, I just, that is such a crazy way to attack this hole. AB will just play it the uh, traditional way, but a little overturned, and there you go. A little grabby. It's going to be a challenging edge of circle look. Made it through the gap pretty good, but yeah, yeah. just a little too much turn. This is also eerily similar. Get through. Eerily similar. Oh, wow, yeah. Both shots looked really great out of the hand. They just got a little bit turned over at that midway point. Mason always going to hit the gap. Yeah, fluffy. Real nice. Just bacon biscuits. Are you throwing it inside or outside? Just going as straight at the pin through the main gap in the middle. Yep. Yep. He's going to split the two, and this is going to be fine if it can oh, slow that's down. That's going to slow down, yep. Calvin, not quite the effort he was looking for. And Gannon just, how many times from around that range has he just not been able to capitalize this round? Well, it's tough when you, when you actually do make it and it comes back to you as well. Yeah, the next putt being able to just step up. Now he, AB is actually outside the circle. Oh, wow, yeah. The wind's kind of blowing. This is not an easy putt. Oh, right side. Give it to him. Hits high right and just drops right in. Oh, this is a great look. Oh, it looks good the whole way to me. Oh, but it got there so fast. Wow. It was in slow motion. What I a forgot. Putt. Dang it. <laughs> Idiot. And the awesome round continues. I mean... Okay, he misses that putt. It's still an awesome round, but this super duper awesome round continues. Nothing's changing from this being an awesome round. Paul, yeah, out, right, right. Uh, sprinkle a bogey in there. Yeah, right, right. Incredible. 1,200. 1,200 by itself is one off course record. I believe 1,300 is a course record. So, wow. He's got a chance to tie that on the 14th hole. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're putting together a nice one. Look at that green over there on the left-hand side. Yeah, he is really getting the birdies, and there's going to be another one. Doesn't really take it easy on those tap yeah, I was just does thinking, he? like, just kind of... <laughs> hey, man. Try to tap her in there. Why don't you just soften it up? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to question it. He's birdied eight of the last nine holes, and he is not really getting... I mean, he's right there behind yeah. AB, which is crazy to think that somebody could be still close to the pace mm -hmm. that Anthony's putting forward. Hole 14, par four. Paul, what are you doing to get to the perfect spot? I mean, you're aiming at those little bushes in the middle and trying to either go to the right side with a miss. I think if you miss it, you're uh -huh. going right. Okay. But you're trying to throw a hyzer flip right in front of them, I think, on the left. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, you get farther left, and it gives you kind of a wide open pick your choice of what's comfortable into this green. See a lot of that 700 foot, low 700 foot par fours on this course with a low ceiling. It's a very common. Somebody with AB's distance might be trying to go on that inside right right mm -hmm. line. Like yeah, this it one. looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen here? You got to choose. That's why I don't yeah. like that other side. I like going right side to the left because of the, the low ceiling that you explained. Well, when it falls down, at least it falls down in the middle, and he's got plenty of distance on the forehand to get there. It's just going to be a blind second Ooh, this shot. This too high, Jerm. Uh, he just he held on to that for way too long. That's going to be a scramble situation for Mason. And he didn't choose either. Yep. But he kicks it into yeah. a good spot. In the end, it's kind of where you want to be. Oh, 
Let's see it, if this comes about Heiser. It does. So yeah. So Gannon is going, I think, on that inside. Oh, totally. Line, yep. Which is the spot to be. Let's see if Gannon can start getting things going in the right direction. He is even par in the last six holes or something along those lines. Losing a ton of strokes to the leader as Anthony's just putting together something historical, perhaps. Okay, this is deep. How far? Mm, I think it's in the 400 range. Um, I think somewhere probably in the 415 to 430 is my best guess. Imagine having that much power just. <laughs> okay, just all hyzer. Line it up all hyzer for him. Uh, that's a lawn dart. What a shot. He's like even matching his shoes with the jersey. He came out here swagged out. Mm hmm. That man knows that disc. Not good enough. Yeah, that tree's sitting on the edge of the circle. He crushes it. Yeah, with as much hyzer as he released it with, I was worried about the left, but then it just yeah, drifts. Just totally. Oh, no, this high. is, yeah, this is too much nose up. Hit the trees and bounce. Okay. Yeah. Tricky. But it's that same distance he's been challenged with all round, and it has not really been going his way. It's surprising, A, that he's landing that far away so often, but also that he's not been making him. Great scramble for Mason. Okay. A little breezy. This could go a long ways. Oh, a lot of right side. Just if that's coming in yeah. at that same spot with Heiser, it's in. Yep. But because it's pushing out, it can't stay. And there he is. Kind of a weird stance. Had to do a, a stand up straddle, unable to get this back foot to help him get the extra power. Yep. All arm. All arm and makes it. Yep. All right. Let's see if there's any. At this point, you got to be thinking to yourself, okay, I'm on a heater. Yep. Well, for sure. He's. Mm. I mean, not showing it. You know, again, right side, it's a little bit off of center. So what? <laughs> you know, I like get it's, it's low, though. That's what I like about yeah. it. Low on the stripe. Yep. Not on the stripe, a little right side, like you said. Mason, the bar. A couple bars, a couple birds. Mason slowed down mm -hmm. on this back nine for sure. A lot of scoring opportunities, and he's not been taking advantage of all of them. And once again, we've got Robert Burridge here on 17 with another check in. And you got to miss those. Oh. And the last obstacle. This is a tricky forehand. Not only are you hitting these gaps with these trees, but oh, he's going over. What an inventive way to get there. Okay, so 55 feet. Maybe more. How does oh, that go wow. in? <laughs> Jake Hebenheimer sharing the encouragement and the excitement with Robert. But how on the Spike Heiser left side did that go know. in? That's as Brooklyn as it gets. Uh -huh. Oh my god. It started goodness. off on the left side, it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good putt. Good birdie. AB's separation is now four going into, I want to say the easiest hole in the course, but I'm going to look it up just for statistical purposes. This one or seven? Yeah, you know, it's hole 15. More than a half stroke below par. Don't look at the 372. It is 342. Just a hyzer forehand in. AB looking to make it 14 under. Whoa. Hmm. Weird. I, 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 a miss release. Yep. The plant didn't look comfortable. Looked like there's some indecision. Yeah, not great. Uh, and and not still, good. he's in C2. And he's that's something he's been able to do very well all round. As Cannon just can't 
really buy a break. Every single time it's close to being parked, it's always 33 to 35 feet away. Let's see if Mason can get one over there. You know he can. Mason's been impressing me with his forehand. I, I wasn't familiar with how comfortable he was with the 350 plus forehands. I know that he's got a good serviceable approach forehand, but he's been lengthening it out, it seems. Wow. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> that is a new shot. My brain doesn't compute how this is a viable play. Just throw it as fast as you can into the ground with something that with Anheuser angle that for me, I'm saying that's going to roll, but it never does for Calvin. It always just buries into the ground and it's a perfect shot. Wow. So surprising to see AB this far away on the easiest hole in the midst of this incredible round. Isn't that how it goes? Oh, give it. And he you. misses. That looked pretty good. Oh, the I 17 under. It. Yeah, it was a good effort for sure. Yep. Oh, and in there. You don't want to go in there. That is. In there. That is in there. Mason's putt. That's in there. All right, little meat left. And it's taking his time. Could you imagine no just nerves. Bo bogeying yeah, the easiest hole can't, during honestly, this round? Can't, and I'm glad he didn't. Let's see what Gannon has left because that can be, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> fights it through, just stabs it through the gap. And as he walks out, he's going to pull the uh, classic Ace Ventura line. Do not go in there. So close to the basket. But, and you can have things like that on a hole that's this easy. I mean, it's fine to have bunkers that close to the pin, I think. Ooh. Wow. 23 under. Yeah, I mean, but to, to miss hole 15, I'm just so surprised. I'm, as I'm sure Anthony is as well. I mean, he knows that that's got to be a birdie on hole 15. Yeah, the hole 16, par 3, 294. You know what? This is just such the same shot as hole 7 to me. 7? Oh, it's yeah, like sure. kind of a similar shot. A little tighter for sure. You don't have as much room on the left. You have that early gap. It's... A little straighter, but you can play the same shot. Mm -hmm. Mason doesn't turn it. Does he get lucky through the trees? No. One too many obstacles in the way. This hole is not kind if you miss your line. You have to be on a very specific path. And that is a nice one for Calvin. A little deep. Yeah, it's going to be a 25, yeah. 27 footer. See how AB responds. That looks a little off the line, but okay, never mind. It's great now. I don't know if he's trying to go that yeah, wide. He's not. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a getting away with one there. It happens on this hole, though. Sure. Yeah. It's a narrow miss, but sometimes narrow misses are the worst. And in the end, it ends up being great. Cannon gets As well. in the circle. Yep. But a good result. Get it as high as you can. <laughs> Try to sling it over there. Yeah, Find Mason's, yourself a bonus birdie. Mason's still in fourth place, but it, you're right. It just seems like he's just kind of slowed down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Made it hard. Maybe he's thinking, I got to putt harder. I got that spit up back there on, thir- on 12. If I put it harder, maybe it won't if I put spit hard, yeah, because maybe, it'll it, be more yes. force going in. It uh, won't bounce that makes backwards. That makes sense. Yeah. Calvin for birdie. Oh, the streak comes to an end. Ah. You only made it six consecutive rounds. It's pretty good. It's really good. For how many putts he has? Yeah, right. It's one thing if it's yeah. a bunch of par putts, and they're usually not par putts for him. Exactly. AB, cool, calm, collected, gets the birdie on 16. He is 1,400 through 16. <laughs> and that is currently, if he just pars out 17, 18, a course record. But fortunately for him, he has a chance to do something really special today if he can get birdies on 17 or 18 or even both. Wow. Ezra's sitting at 10 under coming into hole 18. Gets it wide. So this is going to be circle's edge. They just always go up the hill and roll right back down. But yeah, fortunately, not bad, not bad. Yeah. that's his money spot. He likes that. Not going to be able to do his traditional step. He might hop forward a little bit, though. Yeah. yeah Ooh, watch the slip. What a round. 11, 11 under. So good. Gets to it's 20. So good. And he is by himself in second place. On pace for that 30 ball that we, we decided was going to be yeah. pretty close. Yeah, we, we thought at one point 10 under, 10 under, 10 under would take it down. We'll see. But it looks like 10, 10, 10 might be a great score to win second place. I mean, maybe. I mean, 17 easy, on the easier side, but 18. Anything can happen. You, well, it's no doubt. not anything, but it's a it's a quick bogey. It's a quick bogey. Seventeen. You just got to get one through the woods. Try to find your way out to the left side fairway. There is a mandatory uh, early on that really shouldn't come into play for anyone. And other than that, it's once you get out into the open, it's a pretty straightforward shot. But if you don't get through the woods far enough, you've got a lot of technical trees to avoid on your second shot. Oh, what high shot thrown gets through everything. How on earth? It's going so fast. I, I mean, if I had a choice and I was a tree, I'd probably move too. I'd dodge. That was so much higher than I'm sure he's aiming for. That's incredible. He got away with it. Yep. I mean, if you're a limb, you're dodging. If you're a tree, you're not. You're taking it. Yeah, you're like, I mean, nothing's, you know, what are you, hurricane? Well, I have nothing to worry about. What are you, beaver? <laughs> what are you, a beaver? <laughs> yeah, if you're not you're... a beaver, I'm not worried. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice shot for Gannon. <laughs> That's so stupid. Maybe Very they, good. Maybe they shouldn't make a beaver disc that they can chew through trees. I like it. Yeah, this is dumb. Great shot for Mason. Calvin, that thing was straight up yocked. And if it gets past that limb. Okay. Going with that flippy roller thing. Oh, uh, dang. That's whoa. deep sea diving. Oh, my gosh. Way in the woods. Tough break. Two really well-thrown shots for Calvin. And now he's going to be scrambling because of a huge deflection. Meanwhile, Gannon has to go kind of awkward stance, bend the knees, throwing the forehand hyzer, and gets into the circle. <laughs> He's just Same been spot. Li living there, hasn't he? Yeah. All right, AB got so far. Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, I think he's going to make that putt. Yeah, that's 15 under. 
<laughs> this is the easiest round of disc golf he's played since last month when he shot 17 under at the Memorial. Or was that earlier this month? Was that technically in March? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Mason turns it over a little bit inside the circle, though. Well, how could that be? Because we've been in Texas for four weeks. None of this makes any sense right now. I don't know what's going on. Calvin in, in the depths. Go, oh. go, go. Oh, boy. That was a hard spot. Yeah. So he's got this for par. Oop, sit down. We haven't really talked about it, but right there is mm. a perfect example of how not throwing any sidearms can really hurt you. That's a fairly yeah. easy pitch out sidearm yep. to the basket. Jeez <laughs> Louise, man. Just speed it up through the nerves, Gannon. The results are great. That's the new mentality. Put it harder. I played with... Oh, oh no. Mason leaking on the left side. I played with Ezra Robinson, and at one point he said, I'm I'm going to put angry now. Oh. And the next one was a 30-footer that I'd never seen something go in so fast. <laughs> I'm putting Ever. angry now? Yeah, and he made it. I, right said, not, right I, don't, I don't like hearing you tell that story. It makes me upset. <laughs> he, he made a lot of putts. I'll tell you that much. Fast, very fast and hard. I, liked, I used to play... a more regional events when I used to play with Schwebby and he used to say, make the basket make you spit you spit you out. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know what? That's a good mentality. Like if it spits you out, it spits you out. But you at least have to do the 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 front end work. Anthony Brella, folks, this is the hole separating him from potentially eleven hundred rated now. At this point, like who knows if fifteen hundred is eleven hundred rated. But 16 under probably certainly would be. Yeah. Uh, five, uh, 465 feet, of, I think is what it says on the T sign. The big mound. AB's got the power to go spike Heiser. Yeah, this is, the, this is the hole. Easy to throw this one out. This is a very overstable Nuke OS. Does it have the distance? That's a silly question. A little inside? Okay. It's a little short, but that's a great tee shot. Only 24, oh, yeah. 25 feet away. It's great. Fantastic. And it stays on the hillside. If that's right side of the hill, it rolls down every time. But if you're in line from tee to basket on that hillside, it'll generally stick right where it is. Cannon gets it wider, and this is going to that area you were talking about. Yep. Skip up, then roll down. It's fine. Pin high is great. You like that so, uphill putt Yeah, from there. safest place to putt, too. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, Mason yeah, okay. also on the hillside. I believe that's in the circle. Calvin is tied for fourth. This would go a long ways if he wanted to stay on that lead card. Sure. For final round. Oh, look at that. Only thing scary about putting from down there is maybe hitting the koozie and rolling back. But you do like the uphill putt. Try to just get it over the rim if you can, or over the band. Why did you yeah. tell him that? I didn't mean like that. I, whoa, you're trying to just barely go over the band. Like that. See, he aimed that just over the band, drops right in. I remember you making a similar putt this week, practice round. To tie you for four under. <laughs> <laughs> it's windy. It was windy, yes. And early. 
Mason off the top. Man, Mason just didn't get it on the back nine, but he gave himself a lot of opportunities, and as did Gannon. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be tied for fourth place. That's really good. All right. This putt for 16 under. Any doubt? Was there oh any gosh, doubt? That's so good. Right in the middle on the stripe. Anthony Barilla with an all timer. I mean, round of the year. Oh, and yeah. it was the fourth tournament of the year. I think this is like the 12th round of the year, too. Of the Elite Series season, at least. Caddy, Cupcake coming in there, giving them support. What a performance we just witnessed. Incredible. Oh, no, Calvin. The putt slips away from him on this back stretch. And he's going to finish with back-to-back -back bogeys. Oh, hate to see that there for Calvin. All right. Let's see how many strokes separates AB from second now. I mean, uh, 26 under. <laughs> so good. From the, from the score that we predicted would be the winning score. He's only four shots Six. off. <laughs> Six shot lead. Okay, so it's not over by any means. But my goodness, he shot the hot round two rounds in a row. Breaks the course record by three shots. Currently has eight shots over uh, third place. And Gannon Burr. As, as many struggles as we kept talking about, just like that, putts like that all day long, still able to turn in a nine under, that is a sign of how great he is. Mm -hmm. Giving himself opportunity after opportunity, we're thinking, man, he just keeps missing putts. Still shoots nine under with a bogey. Incredible stuff. Mason Ford holding on mm -hmm. to that lead card spot with a bogey free seven under. Wow. Good stuff. I mean, six strokes is a lot of strokes, mm -hmm. uh, especially if it's calm like this tomorrow. But Ezra, like you said, Gannon missed so many opportunities that round. He could mm -hmm. easily pop something similar to this. I feel like anybody can do it when it's this calm, this wide open. And they're all playing really good. Wow, it's going to be an exciting final round here in our last event in Texas for the 2024 season. Come back for the third and final round tomorrow. We'll see you then. Ooh, mama. There goes that man. <laughs>